Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. After 10 years of delay, the Hwasong International Theme Park project is finally seeing positive progress with the declaration of the project vision, including targeted completion in 2031 by the related authorities. Slated for a 4.2 million square meter site in Songsan Green City of Hwasong, this resort complex will feature four theme parks, an IT integrated amusement park, a year round water park, a dinosaur theme park, and a kids park, as well as a hotel, shopping mall, and golf course. The project vision was revealed on November 21st during a ceremony held jointly by Kyunggi Province, Hwasong City, the Ministry of Economy and Finance, Kay Water, and the Shinsegi Group. The vice chairperson of the Shinsegi Group, the developer, revealed the group's plans to develop the site not simply as a theme park, but instead as a representative smart city. Kyunggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung offered assurances of maximum support to ensure the success of the project. Initially, Kyunggi Province, Hwasong City and K-Water will focus on supporting the realization of groundbreaking in 2021. The partial opening of the park is slated for 2026, with the full-fledged opening in 2031. When completed, the Hwasong International Theme Park is expected to create approximately 15,000 new jobs and to attract approximately 19 million tourist visits annually. During a recent informal meeting with youths, Kyunggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung stated that there is a need for new youth policies and pledged provincial support for innovative youth startups. With participants, including young entrepreneurs, Governor Lee, National Assembly members, and Provincial Youth Policy Committee members, this meeting was organized to discuss youth employment issues. During the meeting, Governor Lee asserted the need for new youth policies to counter diminishing opportunities for youths. During the meeting, participants presented diverse opinions on youth policies regarding employment, startup support, and welfare. These opinions will be reflected in provincial policies after legal and feasibility reviews. Since June, Kyunggi Province has been clearing mountain valleys of illegal business facilities. On November 22nd, Governor Lee Jae-myung met with business owners on site and discussed possible post-demolition measures. Lush forests and clear streams are revealed when illegal facilities are removed. Mountain Valley restoration work like this is underway at a number of locations in the province. Since June, approximately half of the nearly 1,400 illegal facilities identified in mountain valleys have been removed by the province. During his visit to Abi Valley in Gapyeong County, Governor Lee spoke with local residents and listened to their suggestions for the creation of promenades and parking lots, as well as for restoration work. The province will provide local governments with necessary budget support on an application basis. Governor Lee pledged that the province will be positive in supporting eco-friendly stream management proposals made by local residents and business owners. 
The Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police recently uncovered a large number of food delivery businesses that, despite warnings, have engaged in illegal practices such as violations of hygiene requirements and country of origin indication. At this home-style restaurant that specializes in deliveries to local factory workers, inspectors find plastic bags and bowls containing leftover side dishes from collected food vessels. The cuttlefish used by this Chinese restaurant is denoted on a delivery app as being Korean in origin, contrary to labeling that says it is from Chile. Another Chinese restaurant was found to be extremely unhygienic, with unsightly accumulations of dirt hanging like icicles. The interior of a seemingly unusable refrigerator is lined with mold. Out of 550 food delivery restaurants inspected, the Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police identified illegal practices at 158 locations despite a month's prior notification of inspection. Of those apprehended, 139 were sent to prosecution and 19 were referred to local offices for administrative punishments. Gyeonggi Province recently announced its plans for the province-wide expansion of natural disaster insurance support for small businesses. This insurance will cover damage from eight types of natural disasters. Originally aimed at protecting small businesses from storm and flood-related damage, this insurance support has been available only in three localities of the province, Myongin City, Gimpo City, and Yangpyeong County. Small businesses in the mining, manufacturing, construction, and transportation sectors with fewer than 10 employees, or others with fewer than 5 employees, can qualify for this insurance program. The natural disaster types covered by this insurance include storms, floods, heavy rainfalls, winds, storm surges, snowfall, and earthquakes. The maximum amount of coverage is 150 million Korean won for factories, 100 million Korean won for shops, and 30 million Korean won for inventories. In addition, the recipients of related policy fund support are entitled to a discount. Information about the insurance program can be obtained from local disaster offices or the insurance company. The Gyeonggi Happy Home, low-cost rental housing constructed by Gyeonggi Province for youths and newlyweds, was recently completed in Namyangju City and received its first occupants. Completed this past September, this Gyeonggi Happy Home consists of 970 apartments near Dasan Station, which itself is slated to open in 2022. The apartments in this complex, which also includes a childcare center, a library, and fitness facilities, are offered at 60 to 80 percent of market prices. Rental support depending on number of children is provided to married couples, while larger units are available for newlyweds. There are also community convenience facilities. 
During the opening ceremony, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung stated that the key to successful real estate policy is to supply a large number of long-term rental housing units. Gyeonggi Province plans to initially supply 10,000 Gyeonggi Happy Home units by the year 2022. The province will also supply an additional 61,000 public rental housing units to newlyweds, college students, and career starters. An illegal drug ring involving a broker, a pharmacy, sanatoriums, and doctors was recently uncovered in Gyeonggi Province. This broker delivered drugs purchased from a single pharmacy to sanatoriums using prescriptions issued by doctors to patients without their knowledge. During the illegal operation, the personal information of more than 900 patients was leaked. At a pharmacy, a man picks up a large box suspected to contain drugs and loads it into his car. He repeats the trip a number of times. A drug wholesaler. This individual has been delivering medicines he picked up at this pharmacy to 77 sanatoriums both within and outside Gyeonggi province using prescriptions issued by doctors on behalf of patients at six hospitals. This drug wholesaler acted as a broker between hospitals and sanatoriums. He was compensated through drugs in trade being included in the prescriptions. The pharmacy involved also benefited by monopolizing sales to more than 980 patients. This illegal drug ring took advantage of a provision that enables a third party to purchase prescribed drugs on behalf of sanatorium patients. This illegal drug operation resulted in the exposure of a range of personal information about the patients. 의료기관과 약국이 담합을 하게 되면 필요 이상으로 약을 과다 처방할 우려가 있습니다. 향후에 환자분들이 약을 드시는 데 있어서 복약 지도를 받지 못해서 약이 되는 문제가 발생할 수 있는 것이죠. Over a nine-month period that began in April of 2018, drugs worth 420 million Korean won in total were distributed through collusion. The Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police announced that they have sent nine accomplices, including six doctors, two pharmacists, and a broker, to prosecution. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.